Welcome to the very first video in this new series I'm starting called Sunscreen Sunday, where I'm going to be reviewing a new sunscreen every single Sunday for you guys. I thought this would be really neat to do this summer. So you can go and compare different sunscreens from my channel. I'm going to go over the cast, if it burns my eyes, how it wears throughout the day, just things like that. We're just going to do a full review on things. I was just thinking the other night, I was like, I have so many sunscreens in my drawer that I need to use up and some of you that I've bought meaning to share with you guys, but I just haven't been making enough videos and I thought this would be great for this summer. So if you see any sunscreen in the store, I want you to be able to look at one of my videos and see that sunscreen on me and how it works. Do I have the money to do that? No, but you know, we'll work our way there. Eventually, maybe, maybe. If we're starting off the series this Sunday, with the Dermatology sunscreens. If you've been on my channel, you've probably seen these before. I've used them consistently for like two years. They're just some of my go-tos. But I feel like after two years, I, I have formed a full review on these and I can tell you exactly why I love these. So we are doing the Broad Spectrum SPF 45 and the Tinted Moisturizer SPF 46 in the Universal Tint. We're doing two today because I feel like these complement each other really well and I really love using both of them together, so I feel like I needed to do a review on both of them and show you how I typically use it. So we're gonna start with the price. The normal SPF 45 is two ounces and it is $25. They also say these are an Elta MD UV clear dupe. I have not tried that one, but we might be trying it. Two ounces for $25 and then the universal tint is 1.7 ounces for $26. So a dollar more, a little less, but it is tinted and you get those iron oxides. Tinted sunscreens are normally a little more pricey, but it's really not that bad for as much as you get in this. Now I do have different packaging. That's because this is the last bottle of the older packaging that I have. And this is their newer packaging. I do have a complaint about the newer packaging. While it's pretty and I love it, this comes off so easily. Like if it's in my bag, it comes off and it, it doesn't get everywhere because it has a pump, but it could. But the older ones, like you have to pull that sucker off. And I just kind of liked that aspect about the older packaging. These are both combination sunscreens. They have 12% zinc oxide and 7.5% octinoxate. They are not water resistant, but they are both fragrance free which I really love. Now that we got that out of the way, I'm going to go ahead and show you how the normal one applies. So if I use tinted sunscreen, which I do like to every day for those added iron oxides and protection, I go in with a normal untinted base layer first. One, because tinted sunscreens are a little more expensive and you don't have to use as much to get the full amount of SPF you should use on your face if you do another base layer of a different one first. And second, I would look like an Oompa Loompa if I just used some of the tinted sunscreens I have in my collection because some of them are orange, like terracotta orange, but it shears them out a little bit with an untinted underneath. Oh, let me actually clip my hair back. Okay, my hair's back. This this will be better. So here is the consistency. So here's the consistency of the normal one. Pretty thick. And I can put these around my eyes, no problem. I put them on my eyelids and they don't irritate my eyes. That is what the SPF 45 is looking like. On my skin, it's not really casty because it's that combination. It's not just full zinc oxide. Um, I can definitely wear this one by itself. It adds like a nice glow to the skin. It feels moisturizing, but not oily or greasy at all. I feel like any skin type could wear this. Oily, normal, combination, dry. I feel like it could work for any of them. Um, if you have a darker skin tone than me, you might see a little bit of a cast, but it's not like a stark white at all. But if you have dark skin, you probably will need somewhat of a tinted sunscreen over top if you were to use this. 
and I will say this I'm, I don't wear makeup I will have worn makeup maybe three times total this year so I'm not gonna be testing all these under makeup but I have worn this one under makeup under the bare minerals that was my go-to makeup for a while this made that makeup better it made it look better on my face it has it's not tacky but it has a slight tack to it and that just added extra coverage to that mineral foundation and it looked so much better over this sunscreen because some sunscreens do affect the wear of your foundation and it'll make it look separatey and like slide off your face but this one did not do that. So if I wear makeup, this is what goes underneath it. Now on to the tinted sunscreen. Again, old packaging here, but it's the same thing as the new. I'm gonna do two pumps of it as well. As you can see, it's a little bit more runny. And there's the tint. So it does have more of a warmer tone tint, but it's not like terracotta pot orange. I feel like this could work for a lot of skin tones because it's a little more on the sheer side. I'm gonna do one half of my face first so we can see the difference. This one is fine around my eyes as well. And I feel like it just kind of camouflages a little bit of redness. You're not going to get a bunch of coverage with this. It doesn't look super cakey or makeup-like. So if you want a more natural look or guys, like if, if you have your beard and you don't want the cakey to get into it, I feel like this would be a good one to try. So I got that tinted sunscreen all rubbed in. Can you see any bit of a difference? It's just the very, very slightest bit. No tinted, just the normal on there. And this side has the tinted. It adds a nice little glow as well, but it does dry down a little bit. They're not gonna look like a disco ball, but it feels really moisturizing as well. And it feels nice on the skin. I added another pump for the other side. And this is this side with the tinted sunscreen on. This little red spot right here is because I got a little too brave with my Differin gel. Used it three nights in a row and used benzoyl peroxide over this breakout I had. And I put too much in it. Uh, really dried this spot out. So this is not like tinted sunscreen I don't have blended out. This is an irritated patch. So here is that side of my face. Here's what it looks like on. And it does dry down quite a bit so I'm not gonna look as shiny in like five or ten minutes but I do really like this one just to add a little bit more of skin color back into your face I guess I have no problem reapplying other sunscreens over these throughout the day they have played well with every sunscreen I've tried this one the broad spectrum SPF 45 untinted this is a base I use under many 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 other sunscreens this is great as just like a it has a high SPF, but it's kind of like a moisturizer with sunscreen in it to me. And the tinted one, I can use this over pretty much any other sunscreen in my collection, and it works great over it. So I have found no complaints, no things I dislike besides this little packaging issue. Other than that, I have not found anything I dislike about these two sunscreens. They have an odd odor, but I like it. Some people say pool float. I could see that but I, I don't mind it at all, I like it. And if I get this up within today, they're having a Memorial Day sale. $10 off $50 plus order, $20 off $75 plus order, $30 off $100 plus. A lot of you guys have probably already tried these if you watch me and or Dr. Dre because that's where I found these from. But yeah, if I get this up within the next day, take advantage of their Memorial Day sale because that is a pretty good one. I will leave a link to these down below. It is an affiliate link, so I make like a few percent off if you buy something, but this is not a sponsored or related video. I bought these with my own money. 
I just have that link because I love the products, want to share them, and I get a little bit of money if you do buy something based on my recommendation. I hope you guys enjoyed this first video in this series. Leave any sunscreens you want me to try and look into down below. I really want to get a scalp sunscreen because my scalp gets burnt, so I might try a few of those out. Subscribe if you don't want to miss any more of these. There's going to be one every Sunday this summer. I'm going to make myself do it. Let me know if you try these or have tried them and what you think about them. Very curious because they are like probably my overall favorites in my collection. I will talk to you guys very soon. Thumbs up, subscribe if you don't want to miss anything. And yeah, see you next Sunday in the next Sunscreen Sunday.